Hello. Today's lesson is 9-2. It's called Fractions and Regions. And it's getting tougher. Today you will learn to describe one or more parts of a region by writing numbers known as fractions. Uh, one piece of the pizza here is purple. I shaded it in. There are eight pieces all together. The fraction we would use to describe the part of the pizza that's purple is one eighth. One eighth of the pizza is purple. One piece is purple. There's eight pieces all together. Okay, well I found this online, this picture, and I thought it was kind of a fun way to look at the different fractions. We spent a lot of time looking at this slide and talking about what fractions are. Fractions name equal parts of a whole. They have to be equal. Where have you seen fractions? I thought about measuring spoons, thought about sale signs, and students had other ideas. Pat made a garden in the shape of a rectangle and divided it into six same size pieces. She planted flowers in four of the pieces. Draw a picture of what Pat's garden looked like. So we began by drawing this rectangle as you see on the screen and then we put a flower for a symbol in four of the six boxes. Looked kind of like this. Pat has flowers in four-sixths of her garden. Four-sixths is a fraction telling which part of the garden has flowers. In that fraction, four-sixths, the four tells how many had part, how many had parts that had flowers. Four parts had flowers. The six tells how many parts there were all together. And it's, this part's important. It includes the parts with flowers and without flowers. Six is the total number of parts. Doesn't matter if there's flowers or not. We include both in the bottom number. Uh, Fred planted a garden. How many equal parts did he divide it into? Three. And then the father in the picture asks, does the three go on the top of the fraction or on the bottom? Hmm, if there were three equal parts, where would it go? It would go on the bottom of the fraction, something over three, and we don't know what to put at the top until we get that information from the question. Well, it looks like Fred planted potatoes in two of the three equal parts. Students shaded in two of the three parts on their paper. Maria planted a garden. She divided it into four equal parts. She planted beans in one part Shade one box on your paper and write the fraction. Pause the video to think about this if you need to. One-fourth is the correct answer. One out of four parts had beans. One-fourth. The fraction one-fourth is called a unit fraction. This is an important term to know for this lesson. Unit fractions always have a one at the top. Unit fractions are fractions with the number 1 on top. We talked about the terms we use when, um, for fractions. Numerator is the word that means the number on top of a fraction. Denominator is the word that means the bottom number of a fraction. Important words to know. Numerator is 3 of this pizza. Denominator is 4. My students pointed out that even though you can't see four pieces, we know that there were four pieces, that there's space for four pieces to make a whole. So four is the denominator, even though there's only three pieces left. In this problem, we wrote the unit fraction that represents each part of the whole. So we started with one on top, and then we thought about how many parts that rectangle had been broken into. Two, how many parts are orange? That was pretty easy. And number three, what fraction of the whole is orange? So we do two on the top of the fraction because there's two orange parts, three on the bottom of the fraction because there's three total. Write the unit fraction that represents each part of the whole. One third. How many parts are orange? Two. What fraction of the whole is orange? Two thirds. Here's another problem we did as a class. Mrs. Gupta bought a pizza. The picture shows what part of it she ate. 
what fraction of the whole pizza is each piece? How many pieces did she eat? What fraction of the whole pizza did she eat? Three questions to answer. One eighth of the pizza is each piece because there's one piece that we're talking about when we say each piece and there's eight pieces altogether including those that have already been eaten so one eighth. How many pieces did she eat? I can see two pieces are missing so the answer is two. What fraction of the whole pizza did she eat? She ate two eighths. Oh we watched a video today that explains this stuff as well and you can type that address in if you'd like to watch it yourself. Oh, I just was <clears throat> letting students know there's three parts to each answer for these first few. We talked about using the book if you get stuck. And that was it for today.